faster? Good God, I think even the Clampets passed us. No, and that was Fred Flintstone. Oh, what the? Hey, stop driving. Shut up. Do stop, you want to drive? Stop driving in the weeds. Hey, Good shut God. up. What? what? Who what? paid for this RV? What just fell down in the back? Oh, God, what did you break now? I didn't do it. Did yes. you tie down the cabinet? Uh, I'm supposed to remember everything. Oh, man. Did you remember the sewer hose? Uh-oh, is that what's dragging? Oh, man, Put that's the why people... antenna down? That's why people keep beeping at us. Oh, maybe, hey, maybe that's... Are the steps up? Oh, I guess not. You know what? We just need to, when living the full-time RV life... There it is. Welcome to our channel. Listen on to get more about our story. Hi everyone, Howard here from your full-time RVliving.com. Uh, I am sitting in the RV. Pam is, uh, I'm playing co-pilot. Pam is pilot. She's driving at this point. Thank you for stopping by our site, your full-time RVliving.com. Just as an introduction to the site and a little bit about us, so you uh, you know what uh, a little bit about our story and and uh, who you're investigating. Uh, we have been full-time on the road since 2008. Uh, so at the time of uh, this taping, now that's uh, we're just about ready to finish up 11 years uh, being on the road, living in RVs. Uh, we started out... Uh, but first, before we get into the whole story here, just say hi to Pam. Hi! There's Pam. She's driving. Yes, she drives the big bus. Uh, we are in a two, uh, 2016 Tiffin Allegro open road. It's a gasser, uh, so it's, uh, it's on the Ford F-53 chassis. Rides pretty well when the roads are not too bad. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons why we uh, chose that route. You can read more about it on the website and our blogs. But uh, Howard Pam here, and if you were using a 360 camera, so if you're not aware, you'll see some arrows in the upper left of your uh, screen. You can click on those or just take your mouse and move around, and you can see what I'm seeing. You can look around the RV, uh, look down, you say turn, hi to Winston. You turn around, and look down. Winston is here. And uh, he, he's up front. Hi, Winston. Say hi. There he is. And then behind uh, Winston is Lindsay, and she's uh, she's our 15-year-old Corgi, almost. She'll be 50 here in just uh, 15 in a couple of weeks. And uh, she's got her diaper on because she has some issues, and we don't want those uh, affecting the coach. And uh, Winston, at the time of this video, uh, he's just going to be uh, nine months old. So they've both uh, grown up traveling with us. So uh, here we are. We're, uh, we're coming out of Florida, uh, doing what we love to do, living the dream, traveling. We've been visiting friends and family. We're going to... We're heading up to Georgia to do the same thing. And as I said, we've been on the road since 2008. And uh, before we even started full-timing, uh, starting in 2002, we rented for six years. And we took out, uh, each year we took out at least one RV. We tried out Class A gas, Class A diesel, Class Cs. And we put about 35,000 miles on rented vehicles to see what it was like. And we were living in the mountains of Colorado at that time. So, uh, what a great place to live. We'd want to leave there. Well, the more we RV, the more we really didn't want to go back home, but we wanted to be out on the road. So, uh, we started to make that happen in 2007. And then in 2008, uh, we bought our first full-time RV, uh, living RV, which was a 40-foot fifth wheel and a Freightliner truck. And we decided that would be appropriate for us based on our vision of what our full-time life would be like. And that's what we chose, and that worked well for seven years. And then needs changed, and uh, after almost seven years, then we wound up with a 30-foot Class C uh, Winnebago Aspect, and we were traveling a lot at that point, building our business, which we now run on the road. So uh, that way, we went from that 40-foot fifth wheel in the truck down to 30 feet of, of Class C, and that worked great for three and a half years, but then again, needs changed. I needed more office space, and uh, Pam wanted her washer dryer back, and some other things. So. We found this RV, it was two years old, and we believe in buying used, two years old, and it had 1,250 miles on it, it had hardly been driven, and uh, we found it down here in Florida, so uh, we're in this one now almost a year, and uh, Miss Tiffy, as we call her, because she has worked out great. Uh, we don't have our truck with us, uh, that's Chevy Chase, it's a Chevy Colorado, and uh, we, uh, uh, certain trips we don't need it, so we don't bring it. This particular trip we needed a car for a week, so we just rented one. It was much easier than dragging the thing along and all of that. So uh, that's kind of how we go, how we fly, where we've come from. 
Uh, our website has been in existence since 2011, and we've got about 200 pages and posts on the site with lots of questions and engagement. So please feel free to leave any questions you might have about the lifestyle and things you'd like to know. Uh, we are trying to develop our YouTube channel more, but if you go to the YouTube link that's uh, at the top bar of the website, you can click on that and see some of the things that we've got there. Winston has uh, become very chatty, and he likes to talk. And he about, has his own Facebook page. And he also has his own Facebook page at Sir Winston Churchill. You can look him up there. And we also have our uh, Facebook page, Your Full-Time RV Living. That's on there as well. So you can uh, reach out to us socially or on the website here if you want to, just even at the bottom of this About page about us, if you want to click on there and ask some questions, we'd be more than happy. Uh, one of our most popular posts talks about electrical issues, and there's over 800 uh, comments on that particular post in regards to electrical issues with an RV. So it's lots of material, lots of uh, information. If you're looking to get into the lifestyle, you can certainly get a flavor of that. If you'd like to uh, have more videos done that uh, uh, and ideas for us, things you'd like to know, we can do those and we'll give you a shout out. But uh, feel free to roam about, uh, reach out to us as need be. Uh, we do RV inspections, that's my company, I'm an RV consultant, uh, HMRVI Corporation, which is Howard's Mobile RV uh, uh, Information Corporation. So we are out on the road uh, looking to assist RVers as need be and that's, that's how we make our money out on the road. So anyway, we thank you for checking in. Uh, enjoy the website. Please feel free to reach out to us and the many forms of contact that we have. And we wish you all the best as you uh, either continue your RV life or look forward to getting into it as full-timers. Uh, I can tell you as 11 years on the road, uh, we have uh, over 100,000 miles now at this point in different RVs. We have uh, no plans to go back to the sticks and bricks. We wouldn't have it. Uh, we just we just love life on the road. So uh, we hope some uh, sometime you can join us as well. So thanks for stopping by. Take care. Pam? Thank you. Okay, she's, she's focusing on the drive, which is good. And it getting, gets me we're getting her on a Cala, and we're picking up more traffic. Yeah, so we're getting close to the Cala, picking up traffic, so she's paying attention on the road. And uh, it's nice to have a partner that also drives the RV as well. It gives me a break. So uh, a little over 400 miles of travel today, and uh, we're just living the dream. So come join us. And Thanks. yes, ladies, you can do it. That's right. Ladies can drive, <laughs> can drive the RV. It's, it's not overwhelming. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Bye-bye.